put it into perspective, like we did this, we built this. So then the police go to your house, there's a riot van. There's a, a riot van. Five policemen, yeah. So let's go back to where Manta left the group, bro. Right, so the backbone is gone. We're not doing good views. Let's be honest, at the time, my perspective, it's not going to work with me and Snowy Joe and no cameraman. Yeah. Boys and girls, welcome back to New Era, not so new anymore, because we're on episode 52! Oh, the 52nd episode, We're mate. the first YouTube group in our like category, minus the side men, yeah. to go one year straight of consistent weekly uploads. That's crazy. The stress that we went through to do that is crazy. So we thought we'd sit down, look back at the best moments, got a few best moments each that we'll uh, talk about. You guys don't know some stuff like behind the scenes. And, uh... Insights, full stories, unexplained moments will be explained now. Before we get into that though, Dropouts Club. So as you know, we've been posting weekly videos on our YouTube channel. We also upload once a week, completely different videos on our Patreon. It's only £3.99, it's uncensored stuff we can't post on YouTube. And we would just appreciate if you join it. Link is in the pinned comment. And also there is uh, exclusive posts, exclusive stories. Stuff. Exclusive merch. Exclusive merch. Exclusive you can buy merch. Over on there. It's so much better. Like, I don't know why I don't just join it. What are you doing? Twat. Idiot. Anyway, 50 weeks in a row, man. Let's actually fucking yeah, go. Don't mad that it's no other YouTube group, like you said, except for Simon. Beta Squad haven't even done that, all we right? We were close to doing it last era, that we messed up in the last minute. Yeah, we did mess up. But uh, we should, let's go back to the beginning of the- <laughs> Fucking fly. What a fucking- Sorry, no, nah, I ain't scared of flies. Nah, 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 bro. Anyway, let's go back to the beginning. New era started, new beginning. Let's go back to when Manta left the group, bro. July 18th. I feel like when I'm with Dropouts, I have a certain persona that I have to fulfill. I love them. I love them. They love me. Of course they do. But it's true. I did leave Dropouts. No, we need to tell them like, how it actually unreeled. I know, I know. And it's, 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 it's messed up, all right? Because I didn't even get, I didn't even, he didn't even tell me. He was on holiday. Oh, yeah, oh no, bro. Now you've got, there's so much to say. I know, bro. All right, so imagine, Right, where it's all a bit, it's going downhill on dropouts, let's be honest. Mate, we can't even get 15,000 views. 15,000 views is an understatement. Manta was like the backbone, you could say. He was behind the scenes, business, did all that shit. He was very smart, knew the algorithm and stuff like that. And we weren't fully committed that month to YouTube. We had all our videos scheduled and we were like blind bats, to be honest. We were uploading, videos weren't doing good, but we were uploading regardless. Something needed to change, didn't it? Something needed to change. And luckily it did. <laughs> Coincidentally, something did change. That's it was work. coincidence because we weren't hoping on it. It happened and it worked, respectfully. <laughs> it did do good after that. So anyway, man to left, boys and girls, all right? And me and Ramps were like, we, all, we weren't that shocked because he wasn't fully in with it for quite a long time, was he? He talked about... He did hint it. He did hint he it a little bit. had the impression and um, I can't lie, when it happened, he only told me, not you. Yeah, didn't even tell me. Didn't he didn't tell, tell you guys until two months after it happened anyway, so... Uh, well, I had to find out from you. Because on that same day, you told me like some plan you had for dropouts. I forgot, you you had like a big video in mind. Yeah. And I was like, oh, cool, bro, yeah. And I was like, no, this guy's left. Oh, man, it was it was messed up. So so Manta left. So me and Ramps were thinking, right, we don't want to bin this channel off. We can't bin it off, man. I can't lie, I wasn't thinking that. We had 150,000 subscribers at the time. We could not bin it off. I wasn't thinking that, though. When he left, and we had 9,000 views on our latest video, mm. which I traveled to Swindon for. It kind of got me to and think. Welling, bro. Welling, bro. bro we what were traveling. Shit we were literally losing money. So the backbone is gone. We're not doing good views. Let's be honest. At the time, my perspective, it's not going to work with me and Snowy Joe and no cameraman. We built a career together. We couldn't do that. And I thought me and you really like we do all the Zoom videos and stuff. We kind of I, like, it sounds harsh, but we grew the audience. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like we couldn't leave you guys like for nothing. Dropouts was going to be something big and we weren't going to leave that. We thought, OK, East is already editing for us. We, we already had East. We had, so we had the editor. All I needed was a cameraman. And luckily, <laughs> I'm in London one day and I, I, I spot... Yeah. Nathan, come here, bro. Come here, man. Come here. Come on, here. <laughs> Live a little, you know. What now? What now? Can you sit down? Can you get in the angle? Can you get in that main angle? Is he in? Yeah, he's here. Anyway, so yeah, Nathan, Nathan, you look at that camera, bro. Nathan, I spot you, don't I, in London? Yeah. Yeah, he's How did you spot him? I, was, I don't know about how you two met, I don't think. Yeah, no, I came into London to film with, um, with some other people and then we just met because we were doing like, we just meeting up, I guess. Yeah, and then, uh, and it wasn't even going to be like a proper cameraman. You were just going to come and film for one that one video, yeah, yeah, which was yeah. the goodbye dot dot dot, the first episode in the new era. And I can't like that did not feel like a new era to me. I was filming my own video that day, and then you messaged me. Oh, by the way, at the end we're going to meet the new cameraman. So in my head, I'm a bit. Oh yeah. Do you know what's mad though? 
you and you and uh, you two meeting yeah, on camera. Is, on camera. You can actually camera. see the clip of yeah. me and them meeting, and you can just see how confused I am. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is this is Nathan, bro. This is Nathan. Hello. They haven't met yet. You know what it was? It's because we've had so many cameramen that yeah. have let us down. Yeah. I saw you, and I was like, oh, how long before yeah. I don't? Like just this one guy. one video. What was your thoughts on it? Um, what that video? Yeah, like but just becoming um, like our cameraman, I guess. I know I was really gassed at first. To be fair, I didn't know who you guys were. To be yeah. honest with you, but I think that helped. Like, yeah. I think if I watched the videos previously, like, I don't know. I think the fact I didn't know who you guys were, like. I think it's better not yeah. coming as a fan yeah. and just yeah, meeting yeah, yeah. someone and getting to know them personally. Because yeah. he was 100% focused on the camera work, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. could see that happening. I think that that first video was weird though, because we were just like in a club and yeah. I know, it was just like... It didn't feel like a video, it just felt like a day It out. was a vlog and then we needed someone to vlog our night out. I stayed with like Manta and that. Yeah, you stayed with Manta. Split, yeah. But yeah, that was the first time where you can go now, thank you, I appreciate yeah, it. Fuck off, back behind the camera. Back behind the camera where you belong, mate. So yeah, we got Nathan, then we thought, okay, let's go to East, the editor's house in Southampton. Yeah. Let's let's film a few videos. Uh, the what we had in mind to change the content, we were doing like dark humor, offensive challenges with two people that ain't gonna work. We need something different. So we thought, okay, let's do like vlogs, what like Loaf does, Gideon. We just wanted to film, make it a lot more authentic, yeah, less yeah. effort in a way that we're not putting on a persona, we're just casually on camera. And funnily enough, it was never meant to be pranks. That was the, it just evolved into it. Now it's a prank channel, essentially, I can't lie. It was never gonna be pranks, it's gonna be vlogs in our day out and like what, what happens will be the title. And then I think, what was the video that made it a prank channel? What was, what was it? Was it calling parents? I reckon it was. <laughs> this is a mad idea. It's already begun. Are you crying in the shop? I am really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am Mr. Beaton. You are a sick, sick twat. I had my mindset, oh bro, this new era, I don't think it's gonna work. Mm. Calling parents took off, yeah. and it kind of gave me that motivation that like, I've not seen these views in ages exactly. on this channel. That first one's now on like yeah. 430. It's, like it second most, it's our second most popular video on the whole of Dropout's channel, past the music video. Doing all things, like doing day-to-day -day things, but not taking them seriously. Mm. That's what was working for us. Yeah. That's what I had the intention of. A day in university, yeah. it wasn't meant to be how it went. No. That video was a massive compromise. That was a blessing. Because yeah. we were just we were just trolling people, pranking people. What I really wanted to do that day was to bro, do some homework, actually go to the library, live a day in the uni and yeah. just take the MIG. But then when we got there, it's like, we're trolling people. <laughs> I just contacted the vice principal of ARU Peterborough saying I need to find him at hide and seek. Yeah, go on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's fucking go, yeah. When you don't have an expectation of what's going to happen and you just be yourself, that's when the video most bangs. When you look back at the Coke prank we done, yeah. we literally just didn't know what the fuck was going to happen there. That's one of the funniest videos that I can ever think of, man. Like, it's just so retarded, man. Hey, on, son! You like it, son? You know what I love about it? It's that a lot of YouTubers are like, so guys, today we're doing the Coke prank. Here's the Coke. Here's that. Let's get into it. I yeah. like how we filmed the whole process. Bro, we started off on a yeah, bed yeah. in a, in like a hundred thousand pound bed. We started off on a hundred k bed, <laughs> and then like we're, we're we're filming. We've got the cameraman ready. Oh, we don't have the Coke. So now we're buying the Coke. We're doing this. Yeah. They're getting to know our personality because we're doing all these things other than the prank. Like they witnessed the whole day. It's crazy, and that's what season one was. This is the end of season one. Now obviously it's fifty two episodes a whole year. But season one was essentially yeah, it turned to like prank channel, didn't it? Who knows what season two holds, man? It's season two is gonna be a bit. Now. End of season one, we've got beards. Yeah, come on. Look at us. Completely different. Well, now we're gonna like look back in the best moments. You've picked five moments, I've picked five moments. And we're gonna talk about it and do some insights for you behind the scenes and have a look back on the best year on Dropout's channel, I think. Yeah. Yeah, right, let's go. Okay, cool. Right, do you wanna go first? One of the, not the best moments, if I'm honest, one of the worst moments, but one of the most exciting. I want you to guess which one I'm on about. So I genuinely thought I was gonna die here. You thought you were gonna die? I thought, not die, I thought something bad was gonna happen to me. Something really bad. I think we all got a bit scared this night. This night? Yeah. Pluckly. Yeah. Pluckly. <laughs> Bro. Bro, it can't be them because they must have walked so far away. You, man! I that, bro. This is pitch black in the most haunted village in the UK. We're the only ones there, bro. We're coming on a path that's left a main road, and a van drives past, stops, and we'll... 
like cars oh, don't yeah. stop. It's coming back. Yeah. And I, my head is already telling me, yeah, yeah that's, that's straight coming for us. Yeah. He hasn't missed a turning, has he? He's now coming this way. It's like a weird little skanky, rusty foreign van yeah, is yeah, coming. Yeah. White van trouble, man. He's actually coming why is he, why yo, did he do yo, that? There's a white van coming. And he gave us a look of like, he inspected us. And then his face gave off the impression that we're not what he's looking for. Yo, we're about to get kidnapped. We're actually about to get kidnapped. No, 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 no. Yo, we actually are just about to get kidnapped. I saw him in the eye and I was like, you were looking to do something, but I'm not what you needed. I don't, you, I'll tell you why I, my life genuinely flashed before my eyes because when I saw how weird these two looked in yeah. their car, I, I started thinking in my head like, bro, that was the last time I said bye to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm what? not joking. I was thinking stuff like, I'm going to go missing in Puckley. You know, when I got these thoughts, that's when I was thinking, wow, I truly think my life is in danger here. Bro, I didn't know you were that scared. I was bro. so scared. I was like, bro, do you know how close they came to us? Mate, like, they were close. Who are these guys? Why are they out at this time? It was like 2 a.m. It's the fact it was down this this, like alleyway in between two haunted places. Didn't help that twat Nathan was jump scaring me the whole night. So my, <laughs> I was already a bit like, you know what I mean, ready. Yeah. And then these two come just doesn't help the situation at all. And I genuinely made that was the scariest was, was... filming moment ever in my whole like YouTube. 100% bro, 100%. When we started dropouts, bro, right, mm. we weren't expecting to do this, right? Okay. What new era? Or just yeah, like, 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 like new era, like what the plan was. And then yeah. eventually when it came to, um, to January, no, December time, we started meeting NPCs, bro. They just started spawning in, bro. I miss we've it. made, we've met so many of them. Any local crackhead, the dropouts are a family friend of them now. We've met um, Chris, doing what I'm doing, mate. What was his name? Lincoln and Aldi woman. Aldi connoisseur and Lincoln. Bro, what <laughs> strange people. Never in my life, if it wasn't for this new era, I would never be outside Aldi at 6am in Southampton to see <laughs> Lincoln and Aldi woman. She was litter pickering, right? And then she was there. There's no sale. She, was, she, did, she did not believe us. There's she no sale. What are you doing? There's no sale. Was she a man or was she a woman? I don't, I don't know don't to have this a day. Clue. Don't have a Scooby. Nathan, what do you think? No, no idea, no, bro. It's the contrast. They're either so happy or they're pissed off, but they're still giving us content. Yellow coat woman, perfect example. Yellow example. coat woman, bro. That was the second NPC we met and she literally despawned as well. She, where did she go? She despawned, mate. Yellow coat woman, lovely woman. Thank you. Oh, that was actually good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Went there long. Where the ah, fuck? Where's she gone? What? Like the thing is that started from me literally going, can you press the button? And she just went, go fuck yourself. That's when it started. <laughs> like, what? Who the fuck says that, bro? But there's levels to these NPCs in terms of you've got Gareth playing a flute, oh, yeah, yeah. and then you've got you're talking about anal with yellow coat woman. Some are definitely ranked higher. Don't than talk others. to Greg about CCTV cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me about CTV cameras. It's the fact we are. What's your name, Greg? Greg. <laughs> they don't call it the Sin City for nothing. <laughs> they don't call it Sin City for nothing, and that's what I'm going to talk about now. John. John is one of my best moments ever. The fact that we didn't, we met him once. We've met him twice, mate. and that wasn't coincidence. That that was I hated the DMs. Oh, you definitely set up to meet John. We got his John's number after that moment. Oh, you want to check the Patreon, by the way, because we do actually call him, and he explains why he's at the library every day. Yeah, no, John, mate. We've got to talk about John, bro. We have to talk about because John. because we were doing the parking, the parking fine prank. Yeah. No, the parking uh, ticket in the uh, fake parking fa ticket. Fake park we needed no, a sign. Fake parking machine. Fake parking. Yeah, machine. yeah, we needed the sign. We the sign, so we went to the library. We were filming you in the kids section, and John no, don't say John was opposite us, and he yeah. was looking. And you were like, "What's wrong?" He's like, "Nothing." No, you know, the thing is, you know, when we walked in, I saw him then, and he was like, he just kept looking at us. Yeah. He looked really intrigued. But that day, he mm. did find out we had Asperger's and autism. Autism slash Asperger's syndrome. I do, and I just found that out. That was the first day he found out. I feel like that's like it's kind of in line with us meeting John. The day we met him, he got diagnosed of Asperger's. His new spiritual journey. Exactly. We're, we're a part of it. We are a part of his Asperger's autistic. Journey. But yeah, John is is one of the top moments, man. That we met him once in December, and then we met him again in June. Yeah. And he remembered us, mate. Do you remember us? Do you remember us? Yeah. <laughs> John, John, 
of see all of you and I didn't think I ever would. The dropouts? The dropouts? <laughs> yeah. Yes, he knows who we are. Mate, and the fact he just, he, he, he's obviously lonely and people come up to, people come up to him in Cambridge. Oh, I do want to talk about that actually. Go on, yeah, go on, talk about it. I've seen a, uh, someone was telling me, I forgot who it was, that there was a group of people around John and it was like, they had their ballys, their bikes and like, bro, you need to understand, yeah, we can, we make jokes about John, like we have our banner with him. Mm. John is a vulnerable guy. Yeah. On top of that, He's an old guy. He's yeah, not he he's not young and fit like us, just running about. Yeah. He's got his life. He needs to do his stuff. He probably doesn't appreciate 20 people going up. So to if him. you do go up to him, don't be intimidating. Just go like, oh hi John, then walk away. Because obviously when you're autistic, you yeah. kind of get like I don't know. I don't I do want to get overwhelmed. I feel yeah, like he you does get overwhelmed, overwhelmed easily, innit? Yeah. And he, he definitely does. And I, when we called him as well, he was like, ah, yeah, I get loads of people coming up to me and stuff. Just be careful when you see him, yeah? yeah? You yeah, can please. take a photo if you want. Just Ooh, please, nah. just chill out, man. <laughs> Go take a photo of John. <laughs> <laughs> just the guy from, from Cambridge. Oh, have you seen a picture of him in the cubicles doing gang signs with some guy? Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, bro. That, that is the funniest oh, photo ever. Bro, how would you mean John in the cubicle? What are the chances, bro? Oh, I don't know. But oh, yeah, sorry. John is definitely the top moment of this year meeting John and becoming friends with him and yeah I, I love you John if you're genuine watching this. GTA character oh mate when we called him when we call him it's like calling what's his name Lester bro. Lester on Hello, GTA boys. <laughs> I've got a mission bro you want to watch that video yeah pin comment top house club I'm telling you it's hilarious all right speaking of the Patreon yeah best moments on the Patreon right is when we first got it we went to Portugal and we went on the strip I know and what a, you're gonna say and the girl stole Nathan's shirt how Okay, losing your keys, losing your phone, that's one thing. How are you losing your shirt? Bro, the fact that... Right, Nathan, see her again, bro. bro Come here, time. mate. Please, please, please. Right, Cameo. you need to you need to explain yourself again, bro, here. Right, what was going through your mind, mate? Not a lot, to be honest. Like, I was pretty drunk. <laughs> like, this empty-headed guy has lost his shirt. Okay, so this girl had a mushroom phone case, and I had a mushroom t-shirt on. So we, like, bonded on that. And then she was like, oh, can I have your t-shirt? And I was like... Yeah, of course. So, like, <laughs> so it, was it, over, it was so retarded, and I wasn't Arsler. Um, is that bad? Does that no, we said retarded. Retard. Okay, 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 yeah, no, like I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't really thinking, and I gave up my T-shirt, and she was like running off with it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust me, she's just you've gone. Got, you've got this guy shirtless chasing after the girl in the Portugal Albufeira yeah, yeah, strip yeah, at like yeah. two in the morning. I remember seeing the police. They look at us like, oh, fuck. That's <laughs> <Yeah. us." laughs> the funniest <laughs> shit ever. The fact you willingly gave her the top. Tragic. tragic. <laughs> bro, you know being that night, night, that, night that night. Oh my god, that night. Bro, bro. I was throwing like we were in the we were in the taxi at Uber back and I just I had to we had to pull over because I was oh, I had to throw up on did. the side of the road. Oh yeah. We did. Oh I've yeah, got a yeah. video of that actually. Do you actually? Yeah yeah. I haven't I'll, seen we'll, that. We'll play that. For fuck's sake. That's so cute. There we go. It's all it's good. He's 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 throwing up. Yeah, he's getting up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be asked, man. And then that same night, you were like, I'm never, never ever, ever drinking, drinking again. again. And we got a video of that as well. We got a video of that, chucking it after as well. I'm never ever drinking again. Like, on, on, on my mum's life. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. Just in case. But I'm never drinking again. Now, Portugal was a good time though, very good time. Yeah, it was, was like class. being in a video good. game for me, being the only sober one yeah. and watching you guys do the shit through a camera. It was like, yo, where do I go? It was like WASD, literally. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing now? Yeah, now Portugal, I think, can go to the best moments as well. We filmed some good videos out there, but the BTS behind the scenes and the exclusive videos we filmed on the Patreon. I but... think the Patreon, like the BTS of like Portugal and the Patreon. Yeah, just, it was I, so like, good. I do prefer so the funny. Patreon videos to the main channel because I feel like when I look back in a few years' time, yeah. I'm going to love the Patreon. Yeah. You know videos. what it is? The Patreon video videos is, is us right we're it's allowed for, to say words it's yeah, for yeah, it's for our community yeah. it's for the dropouts it's family it's more just casual yeah it's but just for, jokes, for the like main channel else. we have got to like uh what's the word you got to we've got to retention it and like yeah. we have to make videos for everyone to gain more subscribers but the patreon we can be ourselves and it's it's for you guys it's for the the the, the, the proper close fans the die hard fans but wait hang on i had another thing about the portugal the bro you know when we're in portugal and the first night you came and you've got Again, this guy is jumping in the pool collecting chairs. Oh, what is bro. he doing, bro? Anyone watching? If you want to have fun, collect deck chairs from the bottom of your pool. Like Nathan. 
<laughs> I went to go to sleep because like my girlfriend just left her. I was tired. I wanted to be in bed. I was, I was absolutely shattered. I get out of bed and go, what's all that noise? And there's chairs, sunbeds, eight sunbeds in the bottom of the villa pool. I can't lie, we got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> what a unique situation. You're just pulling up. Oh, our editor and our cameraman. Seeing sunbeds out the pool Look in Portugal. Look at the size of that. The <laughs> funniest scene is when he sits in that chair. We're thinking he's going to think about something and he and just, just <laughs> he dives in. If anything, we'll end up in a worse situation than we already are. I have an idea. <laughs> No freaking way. <laughs> Kid you, I'm sat there like, what the fuck? It's 3 a.m. I know, bro. What is this guy doing? What are you doing? I know, man. It's what crazy. are you doing? You know what? Another one on the Patreon. Okay, set the scene right. Imagine being in a massive cave that's shaped like a woman's vagina. And you get in that cave and someone is banging some bongo drums trying to um, speak to the dead. The first thing you think is... What episode of South Park have you been watching? <laughs> nah, mate, you've been watching the Drop House Patreon exclusive videos if you know about that one. We're in this cave. We're vibing. Yeah. We're doing our stuff, right? We've got our drinks. We've got our other stuff. We're, we're, a, bit, we're a bit happy. Yeah, we're, 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 we've been drinking and stuff. We're you cool. Obviously you're not. <laughs> What's going on? Why are, you, why are you banging drums There's in the cave, There's no other man? emotion for it. What is happening? I am a hundred miles from any sort of house. So why the fuck can I hear bongo drums? They've come in and they, they go to us. Oh, boys. Hello, boys. Something like that. Oh, you're right. Bear in mind, we're all wearing the same fucking hoodie. <laughs> we, look, we look like absolute it's retards. Like two teams meet up. And so didn't broken. you say to them, oh, um, the vamps are playing? <laughs> That just went, oh guys, the vamps are playing. To so these two guys who've just walked in, seen four people wearing the same dropouts hoodie. The vamps are performing here tonight, guys. Then we'll get ready. <laughs> nah, imagine, so imagine hearing that. Though. They said, anyway, back to these two old people, right? So we're really high up in this cave, and they're just, they've come up to us. These guys are high as a kite. And they've come and said, so we're actually looking for dead bodies and there's reports of lots of dead ones and we're trying to communicate with them. And I, I, I take one look at your guys' face and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how do you expect me to explain that to them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we are we are not sober right now. I can't my, lie. My mom texted me, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I didn't even bother. Mate, and that, that night as well, we just forgot to tent. We forgot to put a tent up. You forgot the tent, bro. <laughs> I told you from the get go, I don't have a tent. This was on you. The plan was to get food. That didn't work. The food, oh, the food shop was. F we, we, me, me, what me? Who, who was going? Um, we were doing uh, Harry Potter Quidditch in the middle of Lidl. Oh yeah, bro, we were. I only got stabbed that day. Oh, you got pressure in Nottingham, didn't you? Yeah, over him filming. Mate, that honestly, that video, that camping trip, definitely one of the best moments, 100%. Fucking love it. This is not even like a shameless promotion. The Patreon is genuinely better than I just thought. I just deeped what actually happens. I know, <laughs> mate, it's so good, it's so good. You're probably expecting this one a lot of you, Eugene. And the boys. Eugene, oh mate, that guy, bro. It's an on-running court case. We can't say too much, but we can say what's already out there. So as you know, we're filming our Tesco video. I don't want to bore you and just tell you what happened. Essentially, this is the iPhone clip. I'm gonna try and hold this down. Where's Joe? So as you can see, I'm not filming the security guard. I'm looking for Snowy Joe. And then the guy walks into my frame. What are you doing? You're recording me. Do you know where Snowy Joe is? I will destroy that for, I will destroy it. You want me to destroy it? No, this is the iPhone. Me being a YouTuber, I seek opportunity. Yes, bro, I am recording. Like, I'm fucking kid you not, like a crocodile to a zebra, bro. Yeah. He slaps you, bro. This is the iPhone. You can't you do that. To you're about to go to jail. You're, you're, about, to, you're about to go to jail. You know what that is? You know what that is? Give me my phone back. Back. What are you secure a security guard? What are you securing? A fucking pesto meal deal. I'm not gonna blow up the shop. It's the fact we we're walking out as well. Yeah, I know, it pissed we me off. Out. Now he's grabbing the same phone. He's grabbing my phone. Yeah. And I'm like trying to get my phone back. Someone else's hand is there too. Was it your hand? Essentially, so you got my hand right. You might have one at home. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm holding it. No, I need to show you. I'm holding my phone like that. I'm grabbing it this way and then out of nowhere. Pulls my hand that way. So I'm like like that now. He's all Oh, I've got your phone. Fuck the phone. What the fuck? My hands like got pins and needles. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm in so much pain. I wanted to scream. Bro, you just broke my finger. Bro, he's broke my finger. You took it like a champ though. I can't lie. Bro, I wanted to scream. I couldn't. I was like, what has this guy done? Mm. What the f did? I thought, did he like inject me with something? <laughs> 
<laughs> I've thought of you think these things, innit? With yeah, the fire I know, phone. I guess. Your mind, my mind's not in the right place. I've forgotten about my phone. All I need is an ambulance. Blue lights turn up. Yes, ambulance. No. Hello! Um, Stephen is police! Fuck! <laughs> What's happened? So basically, Whoa. my family are starving at home and I just wanted to get the meat for them. I haven't got enough money for us. Okay, well, you can't steal things, can you? Yeah, you I'm so sorry, that. I can take it back if you mate, guys want me to. Back off. Oh, mate, I don't know why the police was there because the police were on, like, essentially our side. We were allowed to film. Oh, here comes so, the man. Oh, the is this guy, he wasn't even there. Like, what the hell was going on? He just, he just spawned in. He's filming me. Um, yeah, we're outside yeah, now. That's fine. What, what ah, they're filming me, mate. You fucking man child. My finger's not attached to my hand, and you're crying over a camera. I know, bro. It's Pattern ridiculous. The fuck up. So you, that's one of your best moments. You breaking your finger in Tesco. No, the, people don't realise the like the intensity of it. How it's fucked everything that way. It has. It has fucked everything because you had to arrive late to Portugal I as well. I was fasting that day. I remember. Man, I'm surprised it didn't faint. You had no sugar in your system either. Yeah, I know, but the thing is, I couldn't even eat on time because I was in hospital A and E waiting. Fuck. So imagine, so the next day it's Eid and there's like a Muslim family next to me on my bed. They're like all, they're crying and shit. They've got their tissues. They're, it's like their like last Eid with their stage two cancer daughter. And they're looking at me like, where's this come from? What the I, oh, I'm just here. I, I was in Tesco, wrote my hand to you. How much of a <laughs> I look like? This didn't need to happen, bro. You didn't need to snap my hand over a bit of footage. If you asked me nicely, I would have pretended to delete it. Yeah, like we usually exactly. Do. But you were a and now I've got permanent nerve damage over the Yuri collab. I'm never, gonna, <laughs> I'm never gonna forget that moment in my life. But like, think about it. We went to the Tesco HQ and they and we had a meeting with them about it. And they said no one should be leaving our shop looking like that. He had a cast on the time. The ongoing case that's going on. We can't say too much, but the case is still yeah, going on. We haven't on. forgotten it. It is going on. It's still going on, guys. As long as another case as well, which I will talk about in a, in a minute. Just expect another Tesco video. I don't know when. We can't really tell you, but the, the, the beef isn't over. The, beef the Tesco is saga over. is ongoing. And when we get that money, best believe we have got a banger for you guys. You know, one of the most goated series we have on this channel is, um is well, you know what it is. Call them parents. Call them parents. Call it's got be parents. calling parents, man. We've, done, we've abused the shit out of that. We get DMs consistently about, oh, here's my mum's number. The amount of parents' numbers we have in our DMs is unbelievable. Trust me, if I ever fancy a good night out. Oh, mate, you've got your mum sorted, <laughs> sorted bro. mate, it's on deck. Sorted. Didn't think of that one, did you? But there's one moment that does stand out for me on uh, the calling parents, and that is Mr. Nadu. <laughs> Mr. Nadu. It's the funniest shit ever. And that came from our Australian teacher who's called Mr. Nadu, and he sounded exactly oh, like shit, you. Yeah. Hello, Nadu speaking. So Nadu's got an origin story. Mate, Nadu has an origin story, mate. So I'm calling this this person up, right? Yeah. And I'm going, oh yeah, yeah, he, he, he pulled down Mr. Nadu's pants, oh, and he, he had to go Oh, bro, he's, it's only just hitting me. I'm just remembering He's in this, therapy yeah. now, blah, blah, blah. And then the guy's actually believing this shit. And then he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know my son did that. I'm like, can you speak to Mr. Nadu? As funny as it is, Mr. Nadu's just walked into the into the off. Do you mind if we put him on the phone? And I pass the phone to this guy and he brings out the next, this next Indian accent or whatever accent Hello, this bro, is. Hello, how you doing? No, Hello, no, no, Mr. No, 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 no. Are you causing trouble for no, what? He's causing me trouble for what? I understand. Oh, mate, it was the funniest shit ever. I remember just being in a room of these guys <laughs> all laughing, bro. Everyone's creasing. I'm like, Hello. Mr. Nadu is speaking. The guy even went, oh, Mr. Nadu, I'm sorry. Like, he said something like that, didn't he? You fully <laughs> believed that was happening. <laughs> fully believed What did it. we want him to do? I don't know. I just knew this guy could believe anything. He was so gullible. Your son, not a bad boy. I know your son. I've dated your son since the uh, first day of school. But some something, I think, hit him. He's hanging around with wrong crowd. Very bad crowd. Sure, yeah, it sounds like he's showing off. Now, the Call of Pets videos, though, they're absolutely goaded, man. I, I love them. The first time we ever did it as well, I was pet, I was nervous, man. Some of these, like, hate them. Why? Because they put their numbers towards something thinking it's going to be a fun YouTube video, and then they actually get fucking grounded. Some of you have actually been grounded from it, but, like, you, you send your mum's number at your own risk. You know what's going to, well, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> the first one, we got a kid kicked out of his house. Oh shit! And then yeah. I, I met that kid. He told me when I met him. So we told a, uh, a mum that her uh, son, who was in sixth form at the time, was fingering a year nine, and it didn't help that they have another kid who's a girl in year nine. And then, the, and then he's like, he's DMing me, yeah. and I'm like, I'm not really replying to him just because I didn't, I just didn't get around to it. And then some guy, or I'm in town one night. Yeah. Your rumps. Oh, it's just a fan, you right, mate? 
Yeah, you called my parents. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I've been kicked out of my house. You said that I fingered a nine-year-old. Shows me the Instagram. Year nine, not nine-year-old. Uh, That's fucked year up. Nine. That's fucked up. Look, he shows me the DMs of his mum, everything. It's like, why is he DMing his mum? No, the messages from his mum. Oh, right, out. Okay. And, and I was just deep. I was like, this is the impact we have. We sit in 21 Morris Road chatting. Wah. It's the same as the, the Zoom videos, though. Yeah. Like, we fucked up people's lives in the Zoom videos. And it's the same as the calling parents. It's generally the same. And people still ask, question us how we get the numbers, right? Our fans send us the number, all right? We don't yeah. just, it's not just a joke. Like, it's not just like, what is it? It's not luck. We don't I just guess like the person's times, name. A few times, though. A few times they send their friends. Yeah, they do. Or they send their number, so we're calling them. Hello! Hello! Yeah. It's Timmy's mum! Can I get a picture, please? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah, Mission Ado, that's in my top moments, 100%. 100, yeah. That is a good one. It's like a modern day Natty San. Yeah. In a way. <laughs> yeah. Or John. John is a modern day Natty San. Like, yeah, uh, that is, yeah. Like replacement. That's this year's uh, Natty San. I wonder what's going to happen next year. It's early days. Speaking of calling parents, we've just finished calling parents, and now we're off somewhere else. Oh yeah. God, no! <laughs> this, been, this, no, this part has been so overlooked by because everyone yeah. stops watching after calling parents, but this situation, God, explain it's fucked. So, right, we've been invited to a charity game to do a bit of commentary. Uh, they haven't looked into our channel. <laughs> The, the guy knew our afterward. channel. He, he knew Did our he, channel. He knew our channel. And he still chose us to commentate. The audacity to fucking. All right, so there's a charity game going on, Where FC. And it's their like proper Sunday league football game. So they've got a bit of a crowd. They're all excited and everyone's chirping. These two guys walk in, Snowy Joe and Ramps. And they've come to commentate today. Now I gave him a list of things to, to so he has to say them. He yeah, a list of statements to say yeah. that were very, very embarrassing and quite rude. The uh, problem is, I think we got a bit carried away. Now I am introducing myself as Ramps was taken on Instagram. I'm joined with my friend. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I am Snowy Joe. FIFA Radix over there, his real name's Raj. Try to build a shop every time he gets a corner. Oh, no. oh, oh, and it's all oh, oh wow. wow. I've got really bad diarrhea and I feel like it's sitting down, going down my leg right now. Really? You know, I've seen lesbians play better with balls. I'd have to agree with you, man. We realise that we're saying these things <laughs> and there's in, in there's no immediate consequence. So now we're just like, oh yeah, he's a yeah, yeah, oh, that guy. Yeah, you know what I mean? We're just throwing it. It was a there. charity match, and I'm saying <laughs> what well, what was one of the statements? What um we said something really corner shop. The Indian, there was like an Indian guy who was like, <laughs> oh bro, that corner shop or something. I was like, he's got a corner, he's used to that where he's used to corner shop. told anyone to say that. You're just being a dickhead, bro. <laughs> no, nah, there was a state, what was one of the statements? I need to, we need to talk about some of the statements, I can't lie. Even the, uh, the filming company they had was pissed off. Because they didn't Oh my god, it. the, oh my god. Yeah, I don't think you deep how many people we no, pissed off right, that so day. the filming company, right, was called Right, they go to they go to charity matches or matches, and they they live stream it for their company and have their own YouTube channel and stuff. So we obviously so don't tell them that. Can not all the comments? We'll be just telling them to kill them. Okay, right. <laughs> blur out the what I just said about the company. We are streaming live onto their YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Uh, and then obviously it gets posted as an actual video on their YouTube channel, and people are watching this YouTube channel and they're furious. They're furious. We're talking about how we like kids and shit on the charity, like yeah, mate, it's bro. messed up completely so the organizers like yo bro like they're threatening to sue like they're threatening bro, to sue are they fuck and also the organizers like yo i paid 250 pounds for this for this person but you know what pissed me off you know what really pissed me off i need to give them a reality check so you're saying all this stuff in the group chat oh we spent 250 pounds on the camera equipment yeah, yeah. and the stream's not good bro why don't you just maybe not film it and just give that money to charity. Exactly. Bro, I feel like a lot of these charity games, they just do it. So they have a charity game in their name. And, yeah, so and they, they get, look, they get yeah, more yeah, bro, uh, How many views. fans, how many fans did you see that, that weren't complimentary, that paid for a ticket? You can count yeah. the amount of people on one finger. They couldn't have made 15 pounds max. We literally, we were commentating and we just did walk in. Like we didn't even pay. We, we gave charity money. We actually we're, did in the video, we the actually only, did. That's not my point. What I'm trying to say yeah, is, yeah, yeah no one else did so like if this is a charity game cool your intentions there but if you're crying over oh i spent 200 pounds to make it and you're not saying anything about the charity game being a bit of a flop and the fact that no one actually donated to charity it, it, it says a lot it wasn't even just the organizer the uh the the streaming company were like yo can you please pay us the money because we're not going to get any monetization yeah. i'm like yo 
Your donate it to charity. Just donate you, it to just... charity. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the guy that was an uh, organizer said, yo, can you pay us 250 pounds? Like, no, bro, it's a yeah, charity. I'll, like, no. I'll happily give 250 pounds to charity, but I'm not giving it to you. That video's got 400,000 views <laughs> and like the retention just drops before that. Yeah. Because it's, it's finished the calling parents. Like, here, let's just I look. think he forgot how different Why are you doing it yourself? I said the last video was what? Well. It was like a... Okay, let's get on with the game. Got some phenomenal support from the crowd here. A three-year-old clapping. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> 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 a three-year-old clapping. I remember the dad. The dad of the kid. There was like a kid clapping in the crowd. Shit. This was the actual content. <laughs> And what a show the boys are playing! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're just taking the piss Bro, out of them. Jordi, the referee here, yeah, took out of his time from uh, shitting on people's chests. <laughs> that was so <laughs> uncalled for. Needed. That wasn't even on your list. That wasn't even on my list. I was looking at my phone. What did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about me? <laughs> <laughs> the shit we said. I don't know. Never give us a mic on a I charity event. Was... Mate, what you said here, hang on. Hang what? on. Not that, not that. Wait, wait. Do you know, there's a lot of, I love the diversity on um, today's game, I really do. Oh yeah, what about it? Well, actually, it's funny, my five-year-old cousin always yells, um, look, it's a ninja, every time she sees him, was <laughs> there. You told me to say <laughs> that, you yeah, like, that's, that's not a charity match. Who in their right mind? Why did I just give it? Why did I just not say it? There wasn't even a fourth of that video. We could have just not said the statement. I think it was the adrenaline. It, it was. It, was it felt good being on top of that, uh, yeah. ball, that podium. I was looking at all the players. Ah, you fuck. I don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a clue, mate. Nah, that was probably yeah, a top, top moment. 100%. Mm. 100%. Now, we've done uh, quite a few uh, series on our channel. I think one of them, one of the ones that we love doing is going to the, the universities, right? I mean, I wouldn't say love. Well, well it's fun. We've been to uh, <laughs> Southampton Uni. We've been to Bedford, we've, we've been, been to Peterborough and uh, Peterborough Bedford in one day. Uh, in one day, yeah. But the one that went crazy was Nottingham University. I was just about to talk about this next. Nottingham yeah. University, bro. This one is so fucked up and racist, may I add. <laughs> so, so racist. So we go into the first uni lecture, right? Yeah. First uni lecture. And we talk about there's a plane. There's a plane on the whiteboard. And we go, is that the plane from 9-11? Right? Done. Done. That's it. Was that the plane in 9-11? Get kicked out of the uni lecture. Cool, cool, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Done. All right? Next uni lecture. I think we're shagging. Oh, yeah. No. No, 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 Not no. Yet. I'm taped up. I'm yes, taped up. Yes, And, uh, I'm and you're feeding me a banana. Slowly. Oh, I feel so good. Here comes the aeroplane. Yeah. Right? I'm deep throating this banana. And this actually, Nathan's talked about this. This is one of Nathan's most awkward... I can imagine. Yeah, that was one of his most awkward uh, videos he's ever filmed. Because I think it was awkward for me as well. Bro. I just was in the moment of deep throwing that banana. Bro. I kind of wish I was deep throwing the banana because I feel like that's the le least awkward. You don't. You don't be. wish you're deep throwing the banana. I'll tell you why in a minute. Then you lose your keys. All right, blah, blah, blah. Because we were shagging, bro. What's that? What's that dance move? Come on, then. Yeah, come on, then. Let's go. Come let's on, go. Come on, then. Let's, let's go. go. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Yeah, you want to fucking go, mate? You want to go? You want to go right now? Yeah? On the same day the security comes. They hold us for an hour waiting for the police. Police doesn't come. Police don't come. We get bored and I'm thinking, oh, what's the worst thing that can happen? Give them my ID, yeah, take a picture, blah, blah. Get my keys back. Go home. I remember, I remember getting the phone call. I'm on the train home from a video shoot uh, coming back from London. Yeah. And the train has just come off uh, the station. So I'm in there. I've got people all around me. I'm dressed as Mario. Why am I dressed as Mario? This is a Mario and Luigi video. Which had shit, so watch it, guys. It can't have been the Mario day, it was way before Mario, bro. I was wearing something. It was It was like, this was like February Okay, time. so we're in the train, yeah? I get a call from my mum. You all right? Hello, roommate, whoa! It's Nottinghamshire Police. What the fuck? How? Yo, hello. Yeah, I'm coming to yours at tomorrow at 6pm to discuss everything at Nottingham University. <laughs> what the fuck? Everything that happened at Nottingham University. So then the police go to your house, there's a riot van. There's a, a riot van. How many policemen? I say five. Five policemen. Five policemen, yeah. So t two are lingering in the garden, three come in. Why in the garden? Just in case they got some bombs in the garden. Fuck knows, mate. And then two of them, there's like a man and a woman. Woman was completely unnecessary. I don't know why she was there. I'm talking to this guy. <laughs> The same guy that you're talking to on the phone, right? Oh, I won't talk about that yet, but go on. So this is, this is like the setup on the table. So you've got, he's sat on the, the edge. Yeah. There's three chairs along here. It's policewoman, yeah. me and my dad. Oh. I know, I know, I know, I know. There's, just, there's apples in the middle. I'm just oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Ramiz, why do you think I'm here? And I tell him, right, because we went to a university, filmed a little YouTube video there. I don't know the particular reason you're here, yeah. but I know the general reason why you're here. Something to do yeah. with my car keys. And then he proceeds to telling me about um, 
I don't know at the time. Uh, me as well, I don't know the correlation. No one knows this no happened, knows. by the way. I'm pretty sure you made it up, but go on. In Ireland recently, um, one of our police force actually got murdered. Oh. <laughs> anyway, all about the pink recorder and banana. <laughs> so, because he got murdered, We've been really high on security lately as we don't know when it's a risk and if a group of boys are walking into a university, we don't know if it's your intention to kill. <laughs> So we ba you basically got told, you. they what? were like investigating you to see if you had like something to do with the Northern Ireland terrorist attack. I was so confused. What like, the fuck is that about? Bro, I've just, bro, it's, it's banana. They just wanted a reason to go to your house and I think like, that's it. That scare is it. your parents so you wouldn't do it again. That well, was the reason. I, and it worked bro. my mum was shitting it. She was like, bro, don't do terrorism. Last <laughs> one. We're, we're gonna get shit back, bro. <laughs> don't do this. So that's all done now. Yeah. My parents hate my guts, yeah. But I was fuming, okay? I wanna no, talk no, about my- Fucking called you. No, I, no, 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 no. I called him because of what he what he called you a terrorist. When, when the, the tone he was talking to you in, I was like, bro, is that even the same police officer? Yeah. So I'm, I was very, very hungover, very hungover. I called this policeman because obviously he called him a terrorist. I wasn't having that. I was fuming. I was confused why the police were getting involved. <laughs> why were they involved? But I'll tell you why. Eight minutes into the call, and the police call is on the YouTube channel. Um, he goes, there was an incident when you were eating a banana. What was the exact thing that we done to, to uh, cause stress? Because like, honestly, like, I can't think of anything that we done. Well, uh, uh, apparently, one of the pranks was somebody sat in a chair feeding him a banana. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you're telling me that that's when I lost all hope in humanity. That's when I was like, you're calling me up because we ate a banana in a lecture. I didn't all even right. eat the banana, bro. I yeah, I ate the banana. So he should have gone to your house. But you're close to Nottingham, mate. That's not fair. So so I thought, okay, cool. We ate a banana. So sorry. We're not going to go to Nottingham University again. We're banned. You know what made me laugh? He was like, well, you really disturbed the students, and they work hard to be there. Well, we weren't here all year, mate. Wait, we were there <laughs> for like three cruise. hours, bro. Like seriously. In the lecture, we were there for two minutes. I know. Max. Oh, they paid nine grand to study the whole year. Oh, I, know, yeah. I used about one pound of it. <laughs> Trust <laughs> me, mate. Fuck off. But then we get a letter through our doors, don't we? We get a little letter saying that we've broken the Public Order Act, the Public Nuisance Order Act. Fun fact: I never opened mine. I just went off the WhatsApp one you sent. So we got a letter about that, and uh, we missed the court case on it. Because uh, we were doing an Ikea we video. Because we were in So the court cases, that's ongoing as well. So we've got a court case with Oh, bro, Tesco. I remember being on call with you and you were like, oh, it's so hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine having court? Oh, it's a bit hot, man. mate. <laughs> I can't be asked for mate, it was for a banana. <laughs> Doesn't turn up to court. It was too hot. So that's rescheduled. We've got a court case with them as well for eating the banana for breaking the Public Nuisance Act. So we'll keep you updated on that. Like I said, nothing is, we haven't got rid of everything. With all this drama going on in Tesco, I've forgotten about that one, you know? Yeah, mate, it's crazy. We literally like got the police around our, your house for eating a banana in a lecture. It's just, it's just so fucked up. It's mate. just not been my year, has it? It's just <laughs> not been my year. So recently, this is a very recent one, the meetup in Southampton. Oh, mate. Why, tell me why we're sat around the East dining table contemplating if anyone's gonna turn up. We announced that two days before the meetup. So yeah. we thought, okay, there's gonna be about, you know, 20 people gonna tell, gonna take a few photos, say thanks so much for watching, appreciate you, and then leave. <laughs> Boy, were we wrong. Boy, were we wrong. <laughs> Look what it's doing to me. I'll put 200 rats on his cranium and make his own friend want to put him to sleep. One, two, three, yes! They were all there. They all came rushing down the escalators. Honestly, I, I've, to this day, it's so mental that about 300, 400 kids turned up for us. Chill out. <laughs> you know? I can't lie. I've never felt more... Oh shit, I don't want to be here anymore in my life. In the food court in Westkey was calm, but the fact that like, we should have had security because I, I did, we, I, we didn't think that I many didn't think would... we're at a level, bro. We nah. only have 100, 200K subs. Yeah. We don't need security. But then you got to think about the lockdown, right? Yeah. We had everyone on us in the lockdown, mate. And there's still fans that remember us from the lockdowns. They want to see us. They were crazy. What did they do? The thing is we wanted to escape for a Primark. Yeah. Thinking that it's one door in, out the other door. Yeah. It was news to us that it's in one door. You go down an escalator and then out the other door. But they thought, ah, oh, let's follow them. Yeah. And they took all the clothes from Primark. Do you remember turning back and there's a mannequin? Oh, mate. I was like, bro, oh, bro. 
It's just weird that there's a hundred people in Primark screaming fuck Tesco. <laughs> Mate, yeah! <laughs> Can you imagine being a worker? There's a rock. FUCK TESCO! This is Primark, lads. Oh, Not a Tesco good. in a five mile radius. I don't think there's even a Tesco in the Southampton City <laughs> Centre, mate. And they're all screaming, fuck Tesco. It's mad how we're getting kids to, sh to diss a supermarket chain. There's a bit of a Robin Hood shit going on, though, in Greg's, though. They're oh, stealing from the rich and giving it to the homeless. Yeah, they were doing that. That was really the good thing that happened. And then you have the smoke grenades in the cars, uh, stealing the better Italian that was, that chairs. Was fucked up. And I think Karma hit me the other day for that. What? Someone threw a firework at my car the other day and I was like, this must be karma for the meetup. Fuck. Yeah. Honestly, the Greg's thing, taking a baguette or two, that's calm. But when you're filming the shelf and it's empty, it's so and I'm not so, I'm not like over exaggerating. It's crazy. The shelf was empty. The, the backstory is you and East already escaped, right? You left. It was me and Nathan. I was there for an extra half an hour trying to get away from these kids. So I went into Greg's to get some water. Next thing you know, Everyone comes rushing in and steals everything from the fridges. I can't lie, I hated that environment so much. It was good to see you all in the, the West Key and then it just dragged a bit longer because we did need security that next time, 100%. We'll do another meet-up and we will need some sort of security and stuff. So glad we confronted the news though. Oh yeah, no, nah, that's that's just... The, I'm, I'm still waiting for Dave to fall, phone me, mate. Oh, fucking Dave. He hasn't fucking done it. <laughs> Oh, dude, that meetup was crazy. That really put it into perspective. Like, we did this, we built this. We're in a position to have 100 people chasing us. And it's only the first season, guys. The first year of the new era. We've got next year. We're going to go absolutely crazy next year. Tesco's going to give us loads of money. It's going to be mental. <laughs> College dropout. Welcome to my graduation. Fuck a form. Late to registration. Knew that I'd be famous. Wrote my signature a hundred times. All in my plan. I'm stuck inside my mind. Bars incarcerated. Chat to my town. Ain't no celebrity. Get me out. Travis Scott staring at the stars. Gets me now. Hate me because I'm brown. They hate me because I'm different. Shackles all the line. Feeling like a god. So what is true?